evidentiary and empirical data associated with travel risk management solutions. So it's important that everybody work from an evidentiary process. That is, if you can't prove it, it doesn't exist or it simply doesn't happen. And what that contextually means is that if you believe that all of your individuals are compliant or you believe that all incidents have been reported or you believe that no incidents have actually taken place, then it should be demonstrable, whether it be through an audit or quality assurance process or management oversight or spot checks. There needs to be an evidentiary system to ensure that both you are legally compliant and therefore meeting your duty of care commitments in those jurisdictions where it applies or simply avoiding falsehoods such as we don't have any incidents, all incidents have been managed or we don't have any areas for improvement. They're simply falsehoods if you cannot demonstrate one way or the other that they have or have not taken place. So it's simply not enough to identify the requirement for a travel risk management process, which encompasses hazard identification and threat identification, then not be able to demonstrate that on an ongoing process. Now, this is also evolutionary because very rarely will a first draft or version 1.0 survive the rigors of business growth, travel itself, and certainly changing socio-political circumstances in all locations around the world. So it's therefore mandatory that a constant review and revision process take place. And if you don't have any evidence or empirical data to support it, then it simply cannot be substantiated and therefore should be brought into question as to its effectiveness and veracity of use. Thank you.